Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, I want to show you how to make a histogram with your TI-83 or TI-84. Alright, so here is um, a data set. I'm just going to use the top one, the females. And I'm going to put this data into my calculator in the list menu. Okay, remember your list menu is you press the stat button. Alright, and then it's the list editor. So just hit enter. Alright, and then I'm going to start putting my list in. Okay, um, 76. 72, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to put the whole list in here. Okay, and now I've got all the data in. I'm going to press the second button right here. Second Y equals. If you look above Y equals, it says stat plot. So this is the thing that will plot what you have in your stat editor. All right, so I'm going to hit enter on uh, one. Notice they're all off right now. I'm going to hit enter on the first one. I'm going to press enter again to turn the first plot on. Okay, and then here's histogram right here. All right, so I'm going to press down and scroll oh, let me put this into the screen scroll to the right until I get histogram hit enter All right, and it turns that solid um, the X list most of the time we put our list in list one but if you need another list like if it's in list two or three or four in that stat menu you press second and either one two three four five or six depending on where your list is there's L1 L2 L3 L4 L5 L6 Okay, but most of the time you, you just use list one, clear it out, and use it again. So it's in there. Now, once you have it in there, you're going to press the zoom button right here, zoom. And then if you scroll down, you can usually just press zoom nine. But I'll scroll down to show you. Zoom nine is zoom statistics. So hit zoom stat. It makes a default one for you. Uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, bars. Um, if you have a particular size in mind that you want to have, a particular uh, class width that you want to have, then um, you can adjust that. So this is what we did on the last video. Um, we made our classes 60 to 69, 70 to 69, or 79, and we used the class boundaries on this histogram uh, that we talked about. If I want to do it that way, my lowest class uh, width there is 59 and a half or my cl lowest class boundary is 59 and a half I'm going to change that X min from 60 to 59.5 right the largest X is 129 and a half all right and then my X scale that's the class width so I'm just going to change that to 10 okay now um, I know just by looking at this that I don't need this Y max to go higher than 23 I mean uh, 15 it's 23.4 now, but I hit graph, you can see the bars, there's all this negative space, this empty space up here. So after I, you know, if I adjusted it um, on the fly like that, I could come down here after seeing it that it was too high and then change it and then press graph. If you change your window, just press graph. Don't press zoom nine again. All right, and now we have something that looks similar to uh, what this histogram that we talked about in our notes last time looks like. Okay, so that's how you can make a histogram with your calculator. You just um, put your data in the stat menu in the editor. Once you've got your data in there, second y equals for the stat plot. All right, make sure it's turned on. Zoom 9 is your uh, zoom statistics menu and then change the window as needed. All right. Uh, if you need some more help with this, just let me know. Send me an email. We'll we'll work on it.